Hello everyone, my name is Leslie and welcome to Carnegie Museum of Natural History's Super Science Days Stuffed Animal Safari. This week, we're gonna take you on a safari and highlight Carnegie Museum of Natural History's own Big Five. Before we get started, I just have one rule that I'd like to remind all of our stuffed animal guests to remember, and that is to please keep all hands, feet, wings, beaks, bagomizers, talons, and ears inside the vehicle at all times. Can't be too safe out here, and we want to make sure everybody has a good time. So the first animal that we are looking for is a mountain goat. So I'm going to look around and if you see something that looks like a mountain goat, you say stop and we'll take a look. Uh, eh, I don't know about that one. Let, let's keep looking. Oh, oh my, what's that? Oh, that looks like a mountain lion. We're going to make sure that we're nice and quiet so that we don't draw any attention to ourselves. Stop. You think you found one? Oh my goodness, well done. Very good job, everyone, using our observational skills to find our animal for today. So let's go ahead and talk about these amazing mountain goats. So mountain goats are native to the Rocky Mountains in the United States. They live really high up in the mountains in between the subalpine and alpine elevations of the mountains. That means they dance over and around the tree line and that provides them a good source of food. Trees, grasses, mosses, lichens, ferns, anything like that, they're going to move around and be looking for those types of food items. Now the Rockies are a really harsh environment. It's really cold, it's really windy, and they have some adaptations that help them survive in this environment. The first one is that really thick double wool coat that helps to keep them warm and protects them from the elements. The coat actually allows them to experience temperatures down to minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and they can also withstand winds up to 100 miles an hour. So that is one really warm, really thick coat. Another difficult part of life in the Rockies is that everything is so steep. There are pitches in the Rocky Mountains that are up to 60 degrees steep, which is really, really hard terrain for any animal to navigate. But mountain goats have some really special adaptations on their feet that help them get some stability and really help them to stay safe when they are walking around and looking for food in this environment. So they can spread apart their hooves really, really far, and it gives them a really good solid base when they're walking around. It really helps to add to their stability and gives them a little extra something to help them navigate while they're looking for food. They also have dew claws and some spaces in between the bottoms of the feet that allow extra traction and really help them get a good grip on the terrain as they are walking and moving around. So they have a lot of really cool adaptations that help them to survive in this really uh, difficult and harsh environment. Mountain goats are considered least concern for their conservation status, which means that they have not yet undergone any sort of population decrease, and we would like to keep it that way. So this wraps up day one of Stuffed Animal Safari, and I hope that we see you tomorrow while we look for our next animal then. We'll see ya.